welcome back to my channel this video is going to be super chilled but i'm going to do my makeup now and sort of just give you guys like a bit of a life update obviously you guys can see the place looks a bit different sorry guys it's so hot it's so so hot in here but as you guys can see the scenery is obviously a little bit different this is probably my first time doing a sit down video in my new house and today i'm just going to give you guys like a brief summary of what's been going on lately um i'm super glad that i'm able to get back to creating and things like that but i'm going to be looking over here because my makeup stuff are here but um basically i'm just gonna try to answer a few questions that i got but also just give you guys a life update honestly you guys should forgive me if this video is all over the place and if you can hear a drone type of sound it's my ac please just ignore it okay all right so let's get into the beat all right see this is my issue now doing makeup it's never i need to find a new system like to have all my things out but um how are you guys doing like i feel like it's been a while since i really sat down to talk i know i've had like a vlog out recently uh, or a couple of vlogs let me say recently and I basically you guys have seen what's been going on up until say the wedding itself and um, our honeymoon all that kind of stuff I do have my honeymoon vlog but I have not yet edited it and I'm honestly still on the fence about whether to share it or not I don't know yeah let me that's i think that's part of what i also get into in this video like this weird um let me not say funk that i've been in but just this weird um limbo limbo let me call it limbo so mainly that limbo consists of me ah, i wanted to do my eyebrows first so let me zoom in so you guys can see my face more better yeah so that limbo mainly consists of me feeling like i don't know what i want to be doing on social media it sounds weird like you guys may be like what are you even talking about what do you mean you don't know what you want to do on social media and stuff but honestly speaking guys like i after the wedding i feel like the wedding was just a really like noisy season in my life and it's part of the reason i wasn't even posting stuff for like two months i just wanted i just wanted some peace and quiet honestly like i after everything that happened with the wedding i was just like honestly looking for solace in solitude does that make sense i don't know ja I hope this English is making sense and this is my list that doesn't want to stay. What's gonna happen here? Anyway, you guys just act like you can't see it, please. Anyway, um, like I said, like I'm just it took me some time like to just and also by by the way, like I don't have any notes or anything that I've written down. I know that I asked you guys on Instagram like to send me um questions and things like that. Um, especially pertaining to my court wedding and at that time I thought I would be in the mind space to create videos or a video like talking about my court wedding and you know answering your questions and stuff like that and honestly guys I don't think I'm going in that space any longer like and what I mean by that is I'm not really in the mood honestly to be talking about this wedding um, and I'll tell you why um, I feel like honestly the wedding really really stressed me as you guys some of you guys can probably tell that it wasn't exactly you know the most fun thing in the world planning a wedding I have to say like you know I honestly felt like it was it's normally pretty romanticized right planning weddings and things like that and it's great 
having a wedding planning a wedding obviously i'm happy that i'm married to the love of my life and everything and i got so much support from all of my friends and family which i will forever be grateful for it's just that weddings have a downside that i find a lot of people don't talk about for good reasons probably because they're like just wanting to major on the good parts of it which is very very understandable and i honestly would do the same but i won't lie to you guys that that season took a lot out of me mentally i would say like i think mentally it was just a lot for me and sometimes going back in time to even think about how things were back then i don't even like doing it it's weird um but yeah who knows maybe i'll get around to answering those court wedding questions even by the end of this video if i run out of things to talk about to you guys but um yeah that's basically what happened um and so when i was gone i was basically trying to understand myself and why i was doing what i was doing in terms of like content creating like what my why was because i was getting to a point where i was like okay so first of all i was trying to establish boundaries between like boundaries in terms of what i would now be sharing on my on my um, youtube channel especially now that i am married i can't just like like i'm no longer just one person like i'm not two in one if that makes sense so i can't just like carry on without regarding my husband's um you know requests things like that um and i also can't just carry on without respecting his privacy so that's also something that has made me sort of slow down on the that's what also made me slow down at that time um because i really wanted to just make sure that i was staying true to myself in terms of like what i wanted to share and things like that because also the wedding season was very loud like i said earlier and so obviously a lot of people had their opinions and things like that um which honestly is not really my business right but like when you're out there like you're a public figure let me see like i don't really consider myself a public figure but the fact that i put out content on a public platform kind of makes me a public figure and as a result you are exposed to all sorts of like criticism and things like that and it's just what comes with it right so i i'm sure a lot of you mean or may not know like the fact that there's this whole discourse um in general about people feeling like people in canada get married so early and they can't really understand why um which is honestly fair like it's not really it's not really normal to see you know people of my age group making such a big decision and i don't blame anyone that can't understand it right but i think for me it was just getting weird like i saw so many comments about like in fact this is not even worth me talking about but i'm just giving you guys context for why i took a step back and i was like okay how much do i actually want to be sharing on the internet right because to be honest with you no matter what you do as long as you're sharing on the internet someone is going to have an opinion i need to be fine with it and so those are the things that i was thinking about like i need to be fine with whatever opinions i see on the internet even if they make me feel some type of way or whatever do you get like i just have to be fine with it because it's kind of the path i've chosen which is why i now had to take some time to ask myself like okay number one how much do i want to be sent like be showing these days and why am i even doing this you know like what is that what is my purpose for doing this what am i trying to achieve with doing this so that was another reason i was like kind of just away for some time and i didn't even post like i find a lot of content creators will use like weddings and major events in their lives as a point of like people leverage it right they try to leverage that time to gain more or garner more views or attention things like that i actually found myself doing the opposite of that which is interesting i found myself like i didn't really post as much 
haven't posted my wedding video but that's because it's not out yet <laughs> but i don't even know if i'm going to post my wedding video you know like things like that like i just find myself wanting to just protect myself a bit more which is weird because i know not let me not say weird but it's an interesting thing because i know there are lots of people that genuinely want to see and mean well and things like that but there are also lots of crazy people on the internet and as the world gets worse I'm trying to just make sure that I am doing everything I can to protect myself and my family so yeah that's just a little rant on how I feel right now about social media no but I wouldn't say social media in general I would just say like at that time that's kind of what was going through my head and also like with the wedding I saw so many family members that I hadn't seen in a while so you know as much as like there was many overwhelming things happening at that time it was also important for me to like really take in the moments like my best of friends were here I mean obviously not all of them could make it for unavoidable reasons but like I just wanted to live in the moment and I'm glad that I did that and I took the time that I needed because now I feel like I'm ready to go back into things like in full swing right I'm just going to be trying to off the top of my head think about some comments that I've seen lately and try to respond to them I also saw someone on my what do you call it someone commented on one of my videos the other day saying basically that they would like to see me give more details about the things that I'm doing um, pertaining to my spiritual life and things like that um, I guess that's what they were getting at I mean they said it in a different way but I guess that's what they were getting at and so let's talk about this um, actually let's talk about this I think this is something I've spoken to friends about spoken to my husband about and I don't know I'm just gonna put it out here on YouTube as well just because I want to also like carry you guys along on my own you know journey and speculation and things like that so guys i feel like this foundation is just rubbish but i spent so much money on it so i must use it till it's, <laughs> till it's done like i i don't like the way this foundation is on my skin but whatever we'll, we'll live with it um but um yeah so with respect to my spiritual life i think again like the wedding season being so noisy i think that really made my how do i put this like it really challenged me to like it was more challenging to find that quiet place if that makes sense so because i was honestly like this is just me being totally candid with you guys i'm just focusing on so many things that like it's almost as if i lost my rhythm with god for a second there and basically just was not able to spend as much time as i knew that i should right and so obviously that will always come with consequences such as you know feeling like i'm not close to god those types of things and i just kind of kept going with the motions um until everything finally died down with the wedding and all that and it's only now that I'm starting to get myself back to where I used to be. Like, I wouldn't even say where I used to be, but start trying to get myself back to a semblance of normalcy in my work with God. There are certain things that I was supposed to, I feel like I was doing before the wedding. I had to stop during the wedding because, like, I just wasn't able to keep up. So, for example, I started an abstinence, abstinence accountability group which I never talked to you guys about because I felt like there were already too many people on there and I didn't want more responsibilities so interesting admitting this to you guys but honestly that was why I didn't share it um, and as of right now hey god the way this wig is moving around you guys my battery is about to die one second but yeah so i was just talking about the fact that like i had this whole abstinence accountability group chat i, I still have it to be honest that um sort of accidentally started and i just couldn't keep up um honestly with the responsibility during that whole wedding season because it was just so much for me to handle at once 
and so I, I felt like I fell off with like some of the responsibilities that God had put in me put in my hands and even just in my own personal work with God I was just feeling like like I just wasn't there and this is me being like I said this is me being totally candid with you guys like I didn't like the fact that I felt that way but it almost felt as if that was just the price I had to pay for that season and I don't believe that was what it was I think I was just honestly trying to navigate a difficult season and you know the ideal situation would actually be to navigate let me say quote unquote difficult seasons with God but I did not do that I mean I tried but I feel like I could have done a better job so that's just to give some context as to how it feels when people come and ask me for faith-based content and I know it feels weird like why am I saying ask me like that like but sometimes I just don't feel adequate like guys you guys are looking to me to give you some faith-based content and I'm looking for who's gonna give me some faith-based content so and now that's not to say like I will not give faith-based content of course I will like I mean there's a certain amount of knowledge at least i do have and there's a certain amount of revelation that god has definitely given me it's just that i don't know how much capacity like i feel like sometimes you guys look at me as if i have it all figured out honestly when i read some of your comments i'm just like if only you knew <laughs> like if only you knew and that's not to say like i don't have Things to be grateful for or I'm not in a certain um, what's the word I'm looking for like level with like for lack of a better word level in my relationship with God where I can teach someone like it's biblical to have somebody that you're discipling or people that you're discipling like that is literally biblical right but sometimes man I just be feeling inadequate but that's not gonna stop me though I'm just going to continue to push and hopefully not hopefully and the holy spirit will help me as i move forward i think for me i'm just so scared of getting things wrong especially when i have this platform like i am very aware of how many people watch me and that makes it harder and I know it will only get more from here, right? Like this is literally just the starting point. So I need to figure out how to put myself to the side and let God be God. But for right now, I feel like I'm just caring a lot about what my power can do and not enough about what God can do. So I think that's gonna change um, because it's weird. I did a poll on Instagram and an overwhelming amount of you, in fact, the majority, I think the majority said that they want to see more faith-based content on my channel which is interesting because i never thought that would be the case right um i saw you guys enjoyed the vlogs which is fair um but honestly we live in a time um a time where things are really scary things are actually really scary right now like in the world and i can tell that there is a hunger and there's an urgency that you know basically people rise up um and people are looking for ways to rise up basically which is fair enough so this is me being vulnerable with you guys telling you how my own journey has been as of recent and how i'm literally just picking myself back up after this the 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 noisiness of the wedding and how i'm like getting myself back up to speed in terms of like my relationship and my work with God um, yeah and I also actually thinking about God and my relationship with God I think that will be a good time to talk about my experience moving churches and how that's been like since I got married um, because I feel like this isn't something many people talk about granted some people don't really see the point like some people don't see like what the big deal is some people 
people generally don't see what the big deal is like moving churches and things like that and that's fair but for me that i went to i moved from a church that i actually met my husband at number one number two a church that i went to when i came to canada for the first time that was the first ever church i went to and that was the church that i met a lot of my really good friends now i remember when i was looking for a church in canada i literally prayed to god that he would show me where i need to be and that very first time i went to that church i i knew for a fact that that's where i was supposed to be right and like let me not even get started talking about my pastors and just how much they are basically family to me at this point but they were there let me just say they've been there for me a lot so it, as, just to give you that kind of context you know like it was really hard moving churches like let me know even let me just keep it 100 with you guys like it was really really hard and i feel like there's some people that watch me that may understand what i'm talking about like you know if you're married and you had to move churches for whatever reason or even if you're not married and you just had to move churches like or you had to move to a different city or something like you know how it feels having to leave like your community or friends you know things that you're familiar with and i had this whole episode where i was like okay am i idolizing this church like what is really going on because it was really hard like for the first month i believe i think i cried every single sunday going to my new church which i now love by the way but I literally used to cry because I used to miss my old church so bad and I used to like nitpick at things that they do at my church right now and be like oh, they would never do this at my old church you know like any little thing sorry guys one sec any little thing that I felt like my old church did remotely better I would just nitpick and just be like Oh, they will never do this you know back at home back at home I truly just had to jazz up because I don't <laughs> like I had to ask myself like how long are you going to do this for you know when something is not even a problem but because you're already feeling a certain type of way about even being there in the first place it starts to become a problem all of a sudden right that's what was happening and it just didn't make sense again I was like asking myself how long I would do this for um i'm just really praying about it like i at a point i even had to go back to my my pastor at my old church and talk to him about how i was feeling and things like that obviously he spoke to me um helped me to get the right mindset even told me about some of his own life experiences that were similar to like my current life stage and that really really helped like i started to feel like there was hope again in the world you know <laughs> And not to be dramatic or anything that but that was actually a really hard time in my life that I wasn't able to really fully express because I felt because again like not meant that many people around me are actually getting married and leaving my church my old church right a lot of times people that get married will stay there so that was actually a really hard time for me and so I was trying to also navigate that um, as well um, and yeah like it was just an interesting time but i'm just really glad that i finally like found my footing um in my new church as i'm sure you know i'm sure i i mean maybe one day i'll ask daniel like how it made him feel seeing me like that all the time because obviously you feel like it's his fault right because it's because of and it's that's the thing right it's not even really because of him we're moving it's just because that's the new stage of life we're moving into because I had to pray about it as well and be like, okay, God, like, is this your plan for me? Because I don't like this plan. <laughs> and I basically spoke to God about it and I felt like I had that release. And it's interesting when you have a, a release for something that you don't want to do. <sighs> Let's just not even talk about the complexities of being a Christian in this day and age. <laughs> um, still the best decision ever though, but yeah it's it's definitely been an interesting time let me just put it like that adjusting to that was definitely interesting but i'm just glad that we are 
on the other side and i know my wig is shifting i'll fix it once i put my makeup um okay i'm just going to set under this eye real quick just think of other things that you guys have been asking me i feel like a lot of people are just wondering how married life is going and as of when i am filming this video we are about four months in and i have to tell you guys like it's amazing honestly and some people might look at me like oh this girl you have not seen anything by the grace of god i will not see anything <laughs> like i don't know why people have such a hard time believing that somebody is actually enjoying their marriage like i don't know it's a, it's it's kind of weird but anyway i <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I feel like one thing that God has really had mercy on me concerning it is this marriage. Like anytime I look to God for something or I'm trusting God for something, I use this marriage as a point of reference almost like God did it then, he can do it again. You know and he didn't just do it like he did it well and i think that's something a lot of people are scared of right like that god cannot do something to our standard or god is unable for so whatever reason to meet our standard like this standard that only we can meet you know like it's such a weird concept because seeing as god is almighty like he's the only one that is truly good so why do we like feel the need to control things when he's the only reason we even know what good in its truest meaning even means so honestly it's interesting like it's just a very interesting concept because I, I it's in your head you know it makes sense but in practice sometimes it can be hard to like come to terms with you know but anyway, that's a whole rant just to say, trust God, man. What did I just do with my nose just now? Please, what is actually going on? Anyway, that's a rant just to say, trust God. And marriage has been great. It has obviously taught me so much in the short time that I've been here. It really makes you see your partner for who they really are which is why people i think this is why people always say like marry someone that you like not someone that you love not just someone that you love sorry yeah not just someone that you love because yeah love is great but you see liking someone it just takes things to a whole new level i think and it makes you have fun like allows you to have fun in this space of marriage and things like that and i will forever be a uh, advocate that marriage needs to be fun like it's supposed to be fun obviously there are different seasons of life and things like that like there's certain changes that will happen that eh, you may not have as much time but now that you have time please and even when it seems like you don't have time you know i'm sure there are ways to fight for that time but again i'm not an, i am no expert like i'm not an expert at all on this i'm just talking from experience and by the grace of god I've had a really good experience. I feel like God really gave me the person that was made for me. And I don't know that many people can see that. So I don't take it lightly at all. I don't take it for granted at all. And I'm just super grateful for my man. Like he he's he's the best. And I know he's gonna watch this and probably come and like rub it in my face. But you know, I don't even care. Like, sure, do that. You earned it. It's like but yeah, that's just uh preface how marriage life has been it's definitely been weird like not living in my like with my parents i would say that's been a bit weird even though to be honest with you guys i went to boarding school from like the age of next year will make it like 10 years since i officially left nigeria let me not say left nigeria i was still going back for holidays and things like that but like left nigeria for school next year will make it 10 years so i've had a lot of experience like living apart from my parents and things like that for like short periods of time but it's just weird like especially now that my mom is actually in ottawa and my dad like shuffles between canada and nigeria it's weird being 
away from them because it's like okay we are now in the same space like the issue before was that it was a long distance situation like you're in a different country type vibe but now we're in the same country and we still don't live together like what it's weird but best believe i'm there like every two days and now um my brother is here as well so it's just been a lot of adjusting like you know trying to adjust to make sure that i'm fully embracing this new season and also giving myself grace where it feels like things are going too fast because i feel like things in my life just be happening quickly like i don't even understand what it is and honestly i'm still trying to understand what exactly god's purpose for me on this earth is i think i found some of it but i feel like there's so much to discover you get so that's kind of where i'm at but right now i'm just thinking about what my next moves are in terms of this channel in terms of life like you know just trying to make sure that i am in alignment with god's will for my life and also just making sure that my cup is filled in that aspect of things like actually with god not just pouring out and i'm actually pouring into my own cup if that makes sense so um that's why you guys will see that i won't necessarily turn out comment like god is god so christian centered content like i never want to put out content just because i was put something out i want it to be something that god has definitely inspired and has asked me to do so in case you're wondering why i don't put out that many like christocentric content that would probably be why but best believe that if god has asked me to say something or do something i'll be right there with it Okay guys, I'm going to look for my lip liner because I'm actually almost done. I don't think I'm going to do anything to my eyes. Um, I will normally just put some powder on it and use my bronzer as well. Um, yeah, actually maybe I should put some bronzer on just so that I don't look like my eyes are yellow. I love this bronzer, honestly. I'm about to hit pan on it, so... It's the fancy Mocha Mami one, in case you are wondering. Um, yeah, guys, I just really wanted this to be a super chill, like, conversation. Nothing crazy, nothing too much, which is why I actually made, I didn't make any notes. Wanted it to just be, like, warm FaceTime, you know? Okay, let me grab my lip liner. Also, just thinking about like marriage and things like that how it's been so far i would say that it really makes you see what kind of person you really are and like <laughs> in a bit of a scary way because it's like how can i wasn't seeing myself like this before but now all of a sudden like and i feel like daniel is the type of person that he really outdoes me he like he really gives me a run for my money that bible verse that says i'll do each other in love he took it literally like he took it literally let me just say that okay so when you like live with somebody that is actually a christian like and they don't just say it they actually live out it it really really challenges you you know to to really step up your game like i feel like when you're married to somebody that does not just profess christianity but shows it through the way they love hey wait, my lip gloss hey yes my lip gloss has just shattered punctured rather oh god that sucks okay i'm talking too much let me just do this thing okay guys i want to go and like just clean up that mess my lip gloss thing punctured so it was just a mess but um i this is the finished look and um oh i should actually add some mascara normally i would but i know i'm just gonna take this makeup off in like a couple of hours when i go in and come out and i hate taking off mascara so i'm just not gonna wear it because i'm just going to my friend's house like i don't need to be doing too much 
Um, but yeah, guys, like I was just saying something about like being married to a Christian and how that really makes you like have to come up higher. And I think that's what being married to Daniel has challenged me to be to be a better Christian. And honestly, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm very grateful. Um, but I would love if you've made it to the end of this video first of all congratulations because I don't know how long I've been yapping for but um, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much Sorry guys, I'm actually so hot right now. Like I don't understand. I think it's the lights that making me hot But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching till the end if you have any particular videos or questions That you guys would like me to answer like in video form whatever something like this let me know in the comments and um, I'll try to do my best to accommodate you guys. But until then, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hey, I forgot to spray my face. Oh, whatever. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. I don't know what the next video will be, honestly, but I'll catch you guys there. Bye. Mwah.